What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. Um, you know, it's the Dallas Cowboys. It's the Dallas Cowboys. We are full of drama. That's just the way it is. Um, my buddy Leo Bridgewater was literally saying, how do you guys make it with all of this stuff, man? They have the first, you know, bit of drama and they go crazy. They literally lose their mind. I'm like, that's just another day in cowboy land. So we have a report out here. Shout out to da 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 Damn, Michael, who heard from DJ. Heard from DJ. Hey, DJ, <laughs> want to play that song? Keep me dancing, dancing all night long. Oh, who it heard it from a friend whose name Pretty Ricky. When I heard the name Pretty Ricky, I started thinking of Slick Rick. Slick Rick and, you know, Dougie Fresh. Um, but here's a little tad bit from Pretty Ricky, okay, who goes by Ricky on Twitter. We're hearing that he is supposedly reliable source he says and i quote let me read the tweet is it still tweet now that it's x yeah it's still a tweet it's still a tweet yeah. okay an x tweet okay <laughs> cd lamb will request to be traded if the cowboys do not offer him a contract worth at least 32 million per year he wants to be at least the second highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Okay. If I'm the Dallas Cowboys and I hear 32, sold. We're done. Hot dog. We're out of here. Here's the thing I'm going to say. Now, like you said, we hear, I mean, that. okay. I would say C.D. Lamb looks at it and says, I don't want chump change. I've had an incredible record-breaking season with the Dallas Cowboy. My mama said, my mama said, get out of town and, you know, co-play with C.J. Stroud. And I know others would be willing to pay me handsomely. Now, I was doing a video, and I'm uploading it right now, on why would you want to stay in Dallas? And you can see that video. If you see this one, look at that one, because I talk about the Joneses, that it's nothing personal. It's only business, because we're trying to make a business here. Um, but you in Dallas have more visibility than anywhere, anywhere else. And I hate to sound like Stephen Jones, but basically it's true. Dak Prescott makes a boatload more money off the field because he is the quarterback of the Cowboys than Pat Mahomes does, who's won three rings. And if you go to some place like Tennessee, you're not going to make that kind of money endorsements. Nobody's going to care about the quarterback of the Tennessee Titans. Not like the quarterback of the Cowboys. And so the same may apply to CeeDee Lamb. But for CeeDee Lamb, why would you say, oh, I want at least 32? Because when you negotiate, you always put a number out there higher than what you hope. And you can negotiate down. You got wiggle room. If you're starting at 32, knowing the Joneses, although the Joneses typically, <laughs> they'll end up at 35 the way the Joneses do business because they... Talk, they, they talk a whole lot of shit and then can't do anything with it. So I don't know where this whole thing goes. But we'll see. We'll see if Pretty Ricky, Pretty Ricky, um, is right. So that's what we have. Now, I'm curious, though, because as I look at Pretty Ricky, let, let's, let's do our background. Let's do our due diligence in finding out about Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky has wrestling characters on his... Uh, Twitter page and he has a dog with a New York giant hat on so I don't know if he's here just trying to stir some shit up or what now he does have 27,000 followers and he's only five following 571 so there you have it we'll see what we're going to see the drama never ends in Dallas peace